guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Megan Jacquier, and today we are working on some Kintsugi, which is the perfect blend of healing art. Well, I guess really just healing and art, which is kind of what my channel is all about. We talk a lot about personal development and DIY, so if that sounds like your thing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I started this process yesterday. I recorded like a solid half hour, 45 minutes, something. And when I went to import it afterwards, I didn't turn on the microphone. So you got nothing of that, but also I feel like this is crooked. Anyway, so I'm going to tell you what I did yesterday while I begin working. Well, I guess I can still use that footage. So I'll tell you what I did yesterday. So the very first thing I did was lay out the pieces and rough assemble the pot so I had some idea of where each piece went and could get put it together. All good through this, right? The next thing I did was mix the epoxy together. I had done research online and everyone recommended epoxy for at-home kintsuki, so that's what I went with. I then lined it up, pushed the pieces together as tight as I could, and waited. This is where the chaos ensued. I just waited and waited and waited. It just never dried. After about 20 minutes, I gave up, decided to have a cookie, and try again tomorrow with my hot glue gun. Let's get started. So I got the, there's two pieces actually here that I already glued together. And then you can see where the epoxy was. It's very shiny compared to this, which is very matte. So we are gonna, now that I made those two pieces all shiny, if I can still get them to stick together. I don't know about ours. I don't wanna to have to like get out a sanding block or something. I don't know that that would even work. So let's actually, let's do it on the side. We are just gonna go as quick as we can into this spot right here and see if we can't get a good attachment. The good news about the hot glue is that it can just peel off really easily if something goes awry. Um, honestly, I kind of already feel like it's pretty secure. So let's go ahead and move on to the next piece. Okay, great for you if you're still hanging in here and you don't know what kintsugi is. Let me explain. Uh, kintsugi is an ancient Japanese art form that actually means gold joinery. And they would take broken pottery and actually repair the pieces with liquid gold. Obviously, I'm not using liquid gold, but I wanted to honor that uh, tradition with some gold paint and apparently a glue gun. <laughs> um, I just love this idea because it's about celebrating your breaks, not hiding them. And it's about your broken pieces really making you stronger and actually being what's making you beautiful. And that just resonates with my soul. I remember hearing this story once about how potters will take pieces that maybe break in the kiln and they'll grind them down and they'll add that back to their wet clay for their next pieces and it makes the pieces stronger. And I have definitely seen this in my own life. I've seen how those times when I've been broken down, shattered into 20 pieces or more, have really just made me stronger, better, more interesting. I know myself better, I know I'm a fighter, and I know I'm capable of more, and I just feel like that is part of Kintsugi. Hello again. The glue has fully dried, obviously. It's actually been a few days, but I'm back, and I'm going to spackle because I was not able to fully align some things. So it's really hard to get off. Anyway, I'm going to spackle over the cracks and um, then we'll see. We'll see where I end up for the day. We'll see how this whole project turns out. It could um, not be how I would like it to look in the end, but we are going to give it our best shot. I Here we go again. I 
already said that Kintsugi really resonated with my soul and I think that's because I really do feel like I know what it means to be entirely broken. Uh, I don't talk about it a lot because it feels very distant from me but I was married before. I was married for six years and going through that divorce I truly have never felt so broken in my entire life. Um, again I feel really distant from it now. I have been divorced about six years so just as far out as I was ever in um, and only occasional triggers remind me that I am you know one continuous being and I still have those marks I still have those scars but I also know that I would not have life I have today without having gone through all of that I grew so much in that relationship and through that process of healing um, and acceptance I know I would not have been worthy of someone like Gabriel my husband um, and not nearly as clearly focused on my core values I had a lot to learn and I had to grow and you know what some people learn things the hard way and I am one of those people <laughs> so I think I had to go through that to learn but now I know what a survivor I am and I was able to take divorce is an opportunity and I really threw myself into it as you know a clean slate and got a lot of clarity for what I wanted for the rest of my life and I put it all back together and I have to say I think I did it with pure gold. I really love where it has taken me but Kintsugi definitely reminded me um, that I am still healing because I have to tell you I related to this pot in my hands so much. I still feel those cracks inside of me even six years later and I still feel like I'm you know cleaning up those messes sometimes I'm still healing I'm still figuring it out but I also feel like I've made something beautiful out of something that was really ugly and really hard for a long time Um, today I'm going to switch up the angle a little bit because we're doing the gold detailing I'm really close. I apologize. This is as far as I can hold the tripod out from me But um, anyway, I zoomed it in so that you can see the pot. So let's just focus on that instead I've got a few paint brushes to choose from for all the different sizes of the cracks Look at this gorgeous gold. Oh my gosh, luminous. I'm really excited to get it on the pot. Uh, a little nervous that it's gonna be a disaster, but you know, that's how it goes. I'm gonna start with one of the thinner brushes, just like a makeup, makeup artist. Start with one of the thinner brushes. Oh, I see why they do that now. It's to help with the focus. <laughs> So I wanted to give you some thoughts of mine on how I kind of navigated my own brokenness and became a beautiful and unique piece from a smashed pot of a human being. Um, the first thing that I did was therapy. Um, there's no need to go at it alone and while friends and family can be so helpful, it can also really be helpful to seek professional help and to reach out when you need something more and that's perfectly okay. We go through those times in our life. Another thing I really did was focus on forgiveness, not just of my ex-husband and the things that he might have done, but also on the things that I maybe did to disappoint myself and let myself down over those six years. I really believe that divorce is always two-sided, no matter what has transpired. Um, it doesn't mean that fault is equal, but it definitely means that there's something that you can grow and learn from on both sides. I just didn't want to be bitter from it all and so I realized that forgiveness needed to happen if I was going to really relish and enjoy my freedom. 
Another thing that you could do is really lean into that season of stillness. There's a great book by Catherine May called Wintering. And it's all about taking that time for yourself and growing slow. I remember feeling so much like a new little baby, so raw and rough and real in my emotions. And everything chafed me and I needed to take that time to slow down and just breathe a little bit. So here's the final product. I really love it, actually, even more than I expected to. The little pops of gold against the green, I think are just beautiful. Um, I would definitely do this project again. I hope to do it again. Uh, this piece was really broken into a lot of very jagged pieces and typical Kintsugi is much more fluid and smooth and so I'd like to do it with like more of a clean break piece. But yeah, it was very therapeutic, really fun, and not too hard, so I hope you get to check out Kintsugi sometime. And I know some people would have probably looked at this face and thrown it out, I almost did myself, but I really wanted to keep it for sentimental reasons, and I'm so glad that I gave it a new life. And remember, if you want an extraordinary life, you gotta put in the extra effort, and sometimes that means spending <laughs> countless days gluing a base back together and then painting it with some gold paint. But well worth the results, right? It's fine. Nobody breathe on it. It's fine.